And then with our uh, 86 pick, we pick Kareem Hunt, as you well know. He's the all-time leading rusher at Toledo. Um, I believe he broke, uh, what, Chester Taylor's all-time leading uh, record there. But with that, I'll take your question. Well, at the, as I was looking at that board unfold, you guys are going to ask me why I decided to go up. Um, as, as the board was, you could see that where we were positioned at that particular round, um, we had to go up, else we would not have gotten that running back there. So we decided to go up. Um, we really like his running style. We like his contact balance, his ability to run the ball. I think he had 48 receptions this year. Um, you know, early on he had some, you know, he weighed a little bit heavier than he normally does. He goes to the senior bowl where he displays at 206 pounds. That he's a hard man to stop. I mean, he's, he's a pretty good running back. You guys go like him. Absolutely, absolutely. I would say, well, I mean, I think we get here, we do the, you know, the, the lean muscle mass test that we do here, but I would say just off the cuff, I'd probably 215, 218, somewhere around there. I'm sure you guys will make a big deal of it, but I think once you get ingrained in this program and when Barry and his staff get there, they'll get him tightened up and he'll, he'll be ready to roll. He's a good zone runner. He can do that as well. He's he's got a good combination of that he's not a you know if you guys would say he's not Jamal Charles four four guy, but he's I can compare some other really good running backs that have played this game that he's pretty comparable to. His great thing is when he makes contact with the defender, he's got incredible contact balance as they say, and the legs continue to move on so he's getting positive yards. Well, there's not very many home run guys in the NFL, but he can tote the rock when he has to. I want to say he's over his career. He's only had one fumble in his entire career that he's lost. I can say that. Four-year starter, over 5,000-yard rusher, 44-plus touchdowns. That's pretty good. Huh? I'm sure. Well, you know Eric Bieniemy is a stickler about that. He'll do well. I think what you do is. Let's get him here. Let's see where where he is and how he fits into the to the whole package. That, that's what I feel there. In terms of the running back position, I think what we're going to do, I think, is now you let them compete. You let them see and how they all fit together as a unit. And I think that's the best exercise moving forward to see how that works. I when I when I was kind of working through that thing. And I was sitting there, and I said, we have to go up here and get this running back, else we're going to miss out. You know, take out the top-tier running backs. This was the next best. I mean, this was the next best guy on everybody's list. So we had to go do that move. Well, I'd like to, again, I keep repeating his contact balance, his ability to run the football. I had a chance to see him and meet with him at the Senior Bowl as well. And I saw what he had done at the Senior Bowl as well. And he just demonstrated that. He's an NFL caliber running back, and he, the game's not too big for him. And any time a guy doesn't fumble the football and runs the football, you know, as hard as he does, I'm okay with that. I think he can contribute and be a really positive member of this organization. In the first tier, uh, three or four, right up in there. Actually, you know, it's funny as Andy, you know, we talked to him and then he goes, Andy turns to me and goes, he was so emotionally excited. I thought he was crying on the phone. He was so excited. He was excited to be here. Uh, I think he's a very humble kid. Uh, he's from Cleveland. Um, he's proud, you know, he's had a tough upbringing, but he has survived that and he is determined to, you know, I, I like guys like that.